Good morning, John. I have not left this room in about a week. Like, I have not gone out that door, <laughs> which is, you know, not great. Luckily, it is a child suite, which means that I have, there's quite a long walk I can do just from one, one end of the room to the other. I did actually spend a little bit of time in the top bunk just to alleviate boredom. I also spent some time over here. That's a nice little spot. At first I was honestly like, oh, this ain't so bad. I'm gonna get a lot of stuff done. It turns out, no, I have COVID. And that's meant not a lot of motivation and a lot of sleep. I'm doing COVID tests, I'm doing one right now. And it's also meant a lot of watching. I have a giant TV. Look at this giant TV. It's huge and I can connect it to my phone. I can watch anything that my phone can do. So in the last like five and a half years since Oren was born, I think I've seen six movies. Parasite, Knives Out, Little Women, Coco, Encanto, and Into the Spider-Verse. And I decided I'd just go ahead and double that in a matter of days. And so, since I have nothing better to do, here's seven movie reviews in four minutes. I started out with Dune, and I was pretty fevery at this point, so I'm not sure if you should take my opinion super seriously. I've also watched a lot of Dune content over the years, I sort of had the thought while I was watching it. Why? Like, it felt a lot like all of the other Dune things I've consumed. If the answer to why is because movies look better now, they're prettier, then yes, okay, I accept. It looks very good, the vibes are very strong. I'm definitely gonna watch the next one. I cried one time during this movie. Second, we watched Shang-Chi, which I really loved. I was really in it. I did start to think that maybe I'm a little bit over superhero movies and their ability to turn every single plot point into a fight or chase scene. I know that that's the whole point of a superhero movie. So like, it's not on Shang-Chi, but uh. I cried two times during this movie. One was because of Katie, the other was because of a dragon. Third, suggested by Sam Reich, was Derek Delgadio's In and Of Itself, which was the best thing maybe I've ever seen. This, a live audience one-man show, kept my attention better than Shang-Chi and its thousand intricately choreographed fight scenes. I did not look away from the screen for a moment. It was definitely the best 90 minutes I have spent in this hotel room. I cried maybe 300 times. And saying that that was my favorite thing was something because of number four, everything everywhere all at once. Which I have heard lots about and for the first like 30 minutes maybe, I was like, yeah, yeah, this is what I was expecting. They didn't just make a cerebral sci-fi kung fu thriller and they didn't just make it hilarious and absurd. They also made it all about the only thing that matters, which is people loving each other. And those rocks, the rocks, John. I was so worried that they were gonna do this thing to me, but they didn't do the thing to me and then they went and got that raccoon. Accurate count of number of cries, gotta be in the double digits. Number five, uh, Lighthouse. I get why people suggested that I watch it, but I will remind you I'm trapped in a hotel room. Really good movie at letting you know what it feels like to be insane. My subconscious did put me to sleep during it. Like I had to pause and go back a while because I fell asleep, which worries me. Like what? What about that did you find relaxing? I did not cry during this movie. Number six, Detective Pikachu, which I watched directly after Lighthouse for some reason. But in a weird way, not knowing very much about Pokemon, a similar kind of fever dream. Frankly, I was delighted. I was not surprised by all but one of the plot twists. The guy who does the voice of Pikachu, A plus, great. And I cried zero times, but it almost got me. It really did. And our final film was Palm Springs, which I did not know about until Craig Benzine told me about it. I think a lot of people might hear like the synopsis of this one and be like, well, I've already seen Groundhog Day. And no, very different, but you know, also funny and touching and extremely clever. A lot of conversations we're bound to be having right now. I liked it a lot and I cried one time. John, I'll see you on Tuesday.